rolling? We're rolling and we're speeding. Is this? The season has begun? Is this season two? Holy shit, guys. Holy shit, we're here. Are you dead ass? <laughs> <laughs> no shot? No shot, dude. 100%. No cap? No cap? <laughs> On God? <laughs> On Kenny? On, On Kenny, Kenny, bro. Oh. On Kenny, bro. Oh. Our second season with Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here for season two. <laughs> Woo. Yay. Round of applause, round of applause. We have survived somehow for season one. We yes. have kept it going. We have kept the ball rolling. We did not quit, even though there were times we were saying, we never said we didn't want to. No, dude, I quit a couple times. Brandon quit a couple <laughs> times, you know. No, absolutely not. No. <laughs> Contract disputes. <all> yeah. <laughs> Contract disputes, you know, we had to get through it. Studio show. Yeah, all the logistics. No, we were super excited for season two. Yeah. We are finally here. We're so hyped. As you can tell, we made some adjustments to the set and there's more to come there's more different. more coming to the set but yeah. we have more we have an official what would you call this now you know what the name of the show is and don't mind that there's, because it says it right there don't mind that there's like an <laughs> at and there's like a number sign because no it's just trendy you yes. know it's, tr we're just it's not because we didn't have enough letters it's because it's trendy yeah exactly we're trying to be hip and cool that was i think we're succeeding <laughs> <laughs> no so let's so we, we're here season two um, we're so excited. We have a lot of, a lot of, uh, different types of guests this season, you know, that are in the works. Um, I know last season was a major, major dub for us for like the dance world mm -hmm. just to kind of get our foot in the door. Obviously I have a, a big hand in that world. So, um, shout out to all you guys that, um, supported it and the guests that came out. But yeah, this season Coming in harder, better, yeah. crazier. New kinds of content this New season. New kinds of content. If you follow us already on TikTok, you've been seeing some of the challenges, some of the dumb shit we <laughs> do on there. But um, let's so what we have on the table, of course, we have our man, Wes Anderson, his book with all his movies. Um, funny thing is we haven't opened these books since we got it. We just set it there. But we will definitely open it. But they're there for a reason. We love movies. That's why we have cameras. I don't know if you can see it, but we have two, we have three cameras here. We got the man Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, that's my one of my favorite directors. Maybe in my mind, Post Malone, because he's my favorite artist. We have some nice vintage Marvel comics, comics. Yes. Courtesy of our producer Emmy. Yes, and then of course <coughs> we got the Star Wars book. Can't go wrong with Star Wars. Never. Never. So, um, but like he said, we got more, more, more coming. We're trying to get a rug. That's gonna take a minute. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get. Oh, and my ashtray. Oh, shit. you can't forget about my ashtray. Yeah, yeah, ashtray. Guys. Guys That's not just any ashtray, though. It's, it's not. Just it's not. That is not just any ashtray. No, what what ashtray. ashtray is it, my man? That is a houseplant <laughs> ashtray. Not sponsored. But not sponsored. I mean, <laughs> oh God, I beg you to sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Please, bro, to sponsor. <laughs> um, Handmade by Seth. I'm just kidding. It's yeah, Seth Rogen's brand, but. By him, though. By yeah, him. yeah, yeah. He made the original one, and then they just made a bunch like that one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, now, we're going to get into a few topics. Oh. Yes. I want to talk about... This is so funny. I don't know why I'm bringing it up, but I saw this fun thing on TikTok. Okay. We've been going out to eat a lot, which is pretty bad. And I was, I was going through this phase on TikTok, like, seeing all this, like, random shit about, like, McDonald's and stuff. Do you... When you go to McDonald's, you always say, like, McDonald's has the best Coke. Oh, I think I know what you're going to say. Do you, I think have I know you had say. McDonald's Coke? Like, yeah. you know, the, when you... Like the it, meme? It tastes... No, I mean... No, no, genuinely, do you think the, the, the Coke, Coke at McDonald's tastes, tastes better? better? No. Really? Not okay. Always. Sometimes. Uh, the Sprite is, like, the meme. I it's have heard about the thing you're going to... No, but have you, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Not I always. found out that it's because, like... Um, McDonald's and Coke has been partnered since like 1955 yeah. or some shit and how they deliver uh, their syrup and stuff is by a um, a container not a metal container but it's a it's like a metal container it's like a real container and then how they give how Coke partners with other restaurant uh, other places yeah, yeah. they uh, give their syrup by p with uh, plastic yeah in plastic so it tastes different because I it's oh, I didn't hear that. I heard that Coke and McDonald's have a partnership. Yeah. But Coke gives McDonald's like a slightly different recipe. Oh, see, I heard that's what I've heard. I heard this because that's that's what they were talking about on this TikTok. Yeah. Is like if Coke 
just gives them better coke. Yeah. But it's because that they give them like in a metal container instead of plastic like the other people. Interesting. Yeah. So that's why when you taste coke, it's. It I've had some flat. Fucking well, from McDonald's there's a snow there's snow. a random fun fact for you guys. Yeah, I don't know why I brought that up, but I thought it was an interesting topic because there's some deep dark secrets that are in the food industry. The straws yeah. are s- oh, McDonald's also has smaller straws so that the carbonation hits you harder. Really? Yeah. Thanks, Emmy. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> fun fact by Emmy behind the camera. <laughs> no. Sprite at McDonald's is so much better because the straws are smaller, so the carbonation is like. Interesting. Oh, whoa. Interesting. See, like if I, yeah. So marketing. Like it's all. Everything is marketing. Yeah, it is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured but it that's out. Why, that's why I'd rather get Coke from McDonald's than any other place. I don't know. Yeah, why. I've I've tried this new thing, uh, where I just don't drink Coke. That's really great. That's actually really. <laughs> that's like it's actually really cool. It's extremely healthy for you. <laughs> that's actually really extremely healthy. That <laughs> that I wish I could do. Bro, but Loki undefeated the glass bottle. Oh, that's all. Yeah, that's true. The Mexican Coke bottles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It just sucks, though. I feel like I can drink that in one gulp, though. Those are also actually better for you. Really? The Mexican Cokes use real cane sugar. There's no fruit. There's no corn syrup in it. That's why it tastes better, too. No corn syrup. Obviously. But that shit goes down so quick for me. That's why, like, have you had the Starbucks Starbucks, uh, coffee that in the glass? The uh, glass? Oh, uh, yeah. No, like the f- little fraps. The little fraps, yeah. The yeah. the little fraps from Starbucks. Like you can do like you can get them at like Targets and stuff though. Or like Seven Eleven. I got like the them. mugs. No, like no. actual coffee, like, like iced little, coffee. The li- like little glasses. Or the frappuccino like glasses. They got that bro, little pop so off. Bro. No, no? I, they give it to you in a glass. No, <laughs> what you, no, 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 what no, what no, is not, not Starbucks. Oh, not Starbucks. Okay, okay, no, okay. So say I go to a Target, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell it like on brand, like to at Seven Eleven, at Costco, at like glass in the fraps. <laughs> No. Glass in the fraps? That sentence doesn't make sense. So oh, 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 okay, okay. So okay, shit. okay, okay, okay. No, I get it now. I know you're about now. <laughs> I thought you were going to look at that picture and be like, what? Yeah, I mean, like, so then I would have been like, No, shit. I've gotten those. I've gotten those. No, yeah, even right. with this got off so yeah. off topic. <laughs> But like with those, I get. I used to get those all the time, and like yeah. I can finish those in like two gulps. Like that shit goes yeah. by down fast. That's facts. I don't know. Theories. <sighs> theory. We well, can talk about theories, but let's yeah. go into the real topic. Yeah. <laughs> Why we're really here. Um, you know, it is the we did see the end of 2022 happen. The end of an era of of another another year. <laughs> another year. GGs. Another year. Uh, GGs. Uh, sayonara for 2020. But let's talk about. It. We never talked about it. We're, this is our first episode back in the new year, but we got it. We all love movies here, mm-hmm. we do. so we gotta say top ten movies. Top ten movies of twenty twenty two. Okay, and we're going. For me, this list this list is number one to ten. Like, yeah, I, I think Brandon and Dylan's are ranked, ranked. one through ten best. Yours is mine are just my top ten because I. I'm awful at ranking. It's just oh, in yeah. any order. These are my favorite ten movies. This is also a hard year to rank. Maybe it's like always like that. Really? This is a hard. I year. thought it was e- pretty easy. I was just like deciding like ten seconds ago, and yeah, it's kind of hard. That's I guess. a couple movies. I movies. think we talked about it off camera, but I think the hardest year to rank was 2019. Ooh. 2019 was yeah. stacked. <laughs> yeah, with the names that we're talking about. Yeah, 1917. Yeah. 1917. We had Irishman. Yeah. Parasite, Gentleman. Ford vs Ferrari, Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems. 2019 was prime movie day, uh, movie year. Dude, yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah. But top what's your year. top ten? Top ten. Top okay, 10 I got Banshees of Inisherin. Ooh. I have Everything Everywhere All at Once. I have Babylon. I have this little guy named Marcel the Shell with shoes on. Nice. Also. Uh, I have RRR on there. Yeah. I have the Batman with Mr. Pattinson. I have Pinocchio, oh, wow. not, not the atrocity <laughs> that Tom Hanks was in. Guillermo del, del Toro's del Pinocchio. Toro. Is that I, 2022? Yeah. yeah, they're both 2022. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Um, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I had to put it on there. I had of course, to. This guy. I had to. Uh, Glass Onion, and nope. Nice. Your your list is pretty pretty not like ranked wise, but all the movies you said, most of them are on my top list too. Yeah, forgot about Marcel. 
Really? Great picture. It's not on my list. Little, little, really? guy, little shell with some shoes on. Dude, this fucker has shoes on, bro. Yeah. Crazy. If, if you thought that <laughs> watching an entire 90-minute movie of a shell talking was boring, <clears throat> absolutely not. That'd make you cry. Yeah, yeah it'd make you cry, yeah. laugh. A24. A20. A24. 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 motherfucking How did they make... I just don't know how they made movies before A24 They're just like started. Stop it. I don't know. I, we gotta watch Funny Pages. Is that out? Daniel, like, it is out. It came out 2022. Our, our, I wanted to watch one it. One of our friends from high school is in a, in an A24 movie. Was that theaters? Yeah. No, really? It went to select theaters. Not, not. Oh, is it out? It's out though, right? It. Yeah, it already finished theater run and everything. Okay. We can, well, we can stream so it. Many. We can stream it. Funny Pages. Go watch it. Watch out for Daniel Zolgadri. Yeah. He's cracked. Out. Amazing actor. Yeah, cracked. Absolutely cracked. All right. My top 10. My top 10 is actually ranked. Like we keep saying. And to me, this year was pretty easy to rank. No lie. So, number one. Or we'll go 10 first. Okay. We'll go 10 yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Number I wonder, 10. I wonder what your number one is. I wonder what it is. Forrest Gump. <laughs> yes. Uh, number 10 is Nope. Wow. That was, okay, yeah. Number 10 is Nope. Number nine is The Menu. I want to watch that menu so bad. It's fire. Number so eight bad. is Glass Onion. Number seven is Avatar, The Way of Water. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't put Avatar. I still haven't fucking oh, seen you it. Oh, seen, seen it, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that's the problem. Avatar, The Menu, and The Whale. Three movies that I was so excited for, I just haven't seen Wait, it. Wait, Avatar, yet. The Whale, and what? The Whale and... Uh, the Whale of Water. <laughs> the Whale of Water. <laughs> no, Avatar, The Menu, and... Oh, The Menu, yeah. Uh, the Whale. Yeah, Menu yeah. was actually... Pretty solid. Yeah, number nine. Number eight, Glass Onion. Number seven, Avatar. Number six, that little guy. That little Marcel. Which is out. Oh, Marcel, nice. Marcel. That what? That little that little, that little little shell. Marcel With some the tiny shell. little shoes on. shoes on. Yeah. He has one eye. Um, number five, Top Gun, Maverick. Um, number five? Number five. Not, not even on like my top 15. Really? Whoa. Yeah, just like... Oh, we're about to fight. It's oh, like, we're about to fight. All like, right, no, no, right, right, like hands the up. filmmaking wise, it's a cool movie, no, but like, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. And then <laughs> number four, The Fablemans. Number three, The Batman. Okay. Number two, Babylon. Number one, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Dude, number two, Babylon. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like bold. I respect. Respect. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just Damn. for me like that was like a movie that was like on a journey. Like I was not expecting. Any of that, like it was an epic. the first five minutes, we all looked at each other like, "What <laughs> yeah, the fuck yeah, yeah, are yeah. we about to first get two into?" Scenes. Mm-hmm. Like the first, the first two, two scenes, like the first two scenes, like and then that whole one shot of if you haven't seen it, go watch it. But the whole first shot, the whole Spoilers? the whole one shot of the club, like with her dancing. Oh yeah, like, that was yeah. cool. That was cool. Holy yeah. fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, dude! Crazy cinema, and a lot of it. And I love La La Land. We talk about it all the time, but like a lot of the shots reminded me of. Babylon and the shot like it didn't remind me of like oh he's doing the same shots but it was more like yo like this is good like it's like Dude, that it's same in, feeling it's in that trailer but that shot of the uh the trumpet when it goes yeah, it yeah, pans yeah, back yeah, I'm yeah. like oh, so good oh. so good yeah Babylon so you're really surprised Babylon by good. Babylon too yes because no I definitely like I respect that a lot I, it's just a lot of people didn't um are, it's such a deci- uh, divisive movie it's just the runtime. I think that's why people get like so. I don't know, but I think people too like people just don't get it. Like, in that part, like yeah. they just like, oh, what's the point of this and all that? Such but it's movie. so good though. It's such a good movie. It takes you on a journey. The music, bro. Yeah. If it yeah. wasn't for everything everywhere that took my breath away for every aspect, Babylon would be number one. That's crazy as fuck too. That's crazy as fuck. Yeah, everything, dude. I watched that shit five times in theaters. Everything everywhere. I think I saw it three times. <clears throat> three as well. One by yeah. myself. One with you guys, one with my parents. Parents, one with my mom. You said again with your mom? Yeah. And I think I went twice by myself actually. Damn. I had to. Good movie, dude. It's a great movie. I, if great picture. If it comes back, I, I can't tell you Thank how you crazy 24. this day was, but that first time seeing it, um, it was at the Century City mm-hmm. um, IMAX theater, and it was just like. I saw the trailer at one point, didn't remember it, and I was like, I don't, I, we're just going to see it. Yeah, it's 24, yeah, yeah. it could be cool. I heard good things, because um, there's a lot of rave ra- around it. And I went to go see it in that limited IMAX release. Mm-hmm. And I swear, like, I was like, this is not going to be a packed theater. There's like, no way, sold out. This really? is a sold out theater, right? And this is one of the only times they did IMAX, so that's fair. They only did it for like two weeks how at random times. I was going to say, how long was it 
since it came when it was out when you were going to go. This is before it like really officially came out. Oh, uh, this is like before so that. Still sold out because when I it's went, still th- sold out. No, because when we went the first time, there was really no one really in there. I think especially at this time too. I think it was still like really select. You know how they do that with yeah, yeah. movies. Yeah, yeah so true. it was like still really. It select. was really selective. No one really knew but about this movie until yeah. everyone started like, freaking all the, out. Yeah, all the critics and all, like us I, talk about it. When I tell you this movie was made for IMAX, like it feels like everything it, everywhere. Holy yeah. fuck, dude! It's just like literally the reactions from the theater were like insane. Like, people were just losing okay. their minds, especially with, um, spoiler, but the, I'll just say the trophy, the thing on the desk. Oh, yeah, 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 you know yeah, 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 that entire sequence. Oh! Yeah, dog, I've never heard a theater, like, go that crazy. <laughs> yeah! That shit was yeah, nuts, yeah, yeah. but, yeah. Yeah. Well, Great IMAX, dude, we talked about this, too, at that, at that dinner, two people said Avatar was boring, and we were like, did you watch it in IMAX? And they are like, no, and then, and then... Us two and another friend of ours were saying, like, well, if you didn't watch it in IMAX, you didn't I don't, really okay. watch it. No, I don't think not watch. I think watching it in IMAX enhances your experience. It does. It enhances your experience yes. watching it in IMAX. I don't think not watching it in IMAX, it, it, like, I think if they watched it in IMAX, they would still have the same opinion. But for Avatar, though, like, Avatar, like, I get for other movies for sure, but, like, Avatar is definitely, like, made for IMAX. No, because if they don't like the movie, they're just not going to like the movie. That's yeah, true. Do we, do we have time for an Avatar Discussion. Wait, do your top well, ten do first. Do your top, top ten. 10 we'll go into Avatar because okay. I brought it up because two people. Actually, said Avatar it is on my list though. I'm dead yeah, dead. Avatar was on my list too. Yeah, I, hold that thought because I have a lot to say on that. Okay. Yours is ranked. Yours is ranked as well as yours, like Mo. Where um, yours is ranked, right? I say it's ranked. Okay, so go top ten for it. Go bottom to top. number one. Number no ten. Go to ten. Oh, so ten yeah. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Go to ten. Give oh, them I'm gonna note that I just changed it. Ten was gonna be scream. Uh, scream oh, is okay. no longer in my top ten. Okay. Wow. Um, we can discuss that if preferred. Interesting. I am also such a massive scream fan. So just yeah. Know so that that's actually surprising. There's a reason it's not in the top okay, ten. Okay. 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 Uh, number ten is the menu. Okay. Yes. Number nine is the Fablemans. Wow. Really. Number eight is Glass Onion. Okay. Respect. Number seven is Barbarian. Slept on fucking banger of a movie. Barbarian. I, I can I understand sh- like the discourse with it. It's just so fucking crazy. I shit you not. It's my number 11. Number 11? Yeah. Crazy. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. It's yeah. such a good movie. Um, Number six is Nope. Okay. Oh, pretty high. Number five, Babylon. Okay. Number four, Avatar The Way of the Water. Okay. Ah, uh, four. Number three, The Batman. Number two, Top Gun Maverick. Wow, two. Which came, <laughs> two. which came so close. I was going back just and forth because I was like, dude, two. I love Top Gun. Me too, bro. But I must just not be getting something. Like, I, I, I must just not be getting something about that <gasps> movie. Well, let's go into that too. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything Everywhere, of course, is number one. Yeah. Oh, okay, it was okay. so close between the two. I was like, oh, <gasps> between Top like, Gun and that movie? Yes. That's insane no, to me. I, that I, blows no my mind. No that shame. blows Everything, my mind. Bro. No shame. Asian representation, baby. Dude, that movie that blows that, my mind. It does everything right. Though. Yes, it does. Dude. It just does. And it it, it matches the it it matches uh, the re- relatability too because that last scene. Spoiler alert! Oh yeah. It's if so you really haven't spoiler. seen it, dude. How I mean, how have you it. not seen it yet? If you haven't seen it, you're going crazy. But mute this. Um, that last <laughs> scene where the daughter and, and mother have that last uh, yeah. dialogue scene out in the car and like yeah. she was saying like they were crying like. And no matter what, like, I'll be here for you. Like, that's verbatim. Why I love this movie so much is relatability. Is that's exactly what my mom says to me almost every single day. Like, everything what I want to do, like, being supportive. Like, word for word. It was insane how, like, they captured it. And that's why me and, me and it was a mess with me and my mom watching it together. <laughs> it was a hot mess. Because it's literally, like, the same conversation me and my mom has had, like, multiple times. And my mom is also, like, uh, from Japan. She's not from here. Like, I'm first gen. So it's, like, even her... Like, my mom was crying throughout the movie because, like, uh, Michelle Yeoh's character is literally what my mom went through. Like, Mm -hmm. is she doing the right thing? Why did she move and all this? So it's, like, the relatability was insane. Like, not a lot of, like... For me, like, the Asian community, like, Asian movies have done, like, hits, like, a hit a home run with that relatability. So, it's, like, crazy. That's why, if if it doesn't get Best Picture, that's really disappointing. And if she doesn't get Best Actress. I don't know what could get Best Picture. Did she win Golden Globe? Yeah, she did. Yeah. 
But if she doesn't get best, like if she doesn't get best actress, that's fucking insane. I think the, I think the nominations come out this week. Oh no way! For Oscars, I think so. No way! I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah. I don't know. I, I honestly like we we've had this discussion about best picture. I don't know what will get best picture. Yeah, you guys don't think everything will get. I it. want it to. Well, I just don't okay. think it will. No, yeah. literally, I think good things don't happen like that. That's that's where the Oscars have put me in the yeah. last few years. I also but just I realized I. When this comes out, the Oscar nominations will have been out for a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, 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 I didn't, I didn't that think about that. That is very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good thing yeah. to bring yeah. up. That's a good observation. <laughs> so, like, so by the time yeah, you're yeah. watching this, it's definitely... It might be the... When are the Oscars? Isn't it February? Eventually. It's in, the Oscars are in February? Okay, the Oscars are going to be over when you see this <laughs> <laughs> When you see this episode. Wait, can we fact check that? She's got, She's on it. She's, she's on, on it. it. She's on it. I'm pretty sure. sure. March twelfth. Oh, so, March. so around when this comes out, you'll see you'll the, see the Oscars, Oscars might be happening or it might have just happened. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. L- let it know to be fact. We all <laughs> let it let it known to be fact. Yeah, let it known <laughs> that it's a fact that we like and Every we want everything to be. Yes, we do. If it winner. happens, a like winner. massive W, like huge yeah. W. Yeah, that'd be cool. If yeah. Avatar gets it. I don't think that'll happen. Nah, that'd be insane. <laughs> Can you imagine those? Oh my god. I wouldn't be um, surprised if Banshee gets it or like some like that'd off, be cool. off yeah. movie that like Indie. Um, yeah. Like cause didn't Coda win last year? And, like it did out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Is that not is Apple. that an Apple TV? It's an Apple original. That's fuck I didn't know that until the Tim uh, Timothy Chalamet commercial. Dad, right? really? Yeah. He was like Coda. And I was like, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was nah. like, yeah. But I've heard I've heard yeah. not to shit on Coda. I heard Coda was great. I, me too. I, but I heard it was great. I never saw it. No, no, no. I mean, I don't know because I never watched it. It's gonna. It, I f- it's probably like what you said. It's probably gonna be a movie that like didn't get any hype this year. Like everything. That's the shitty part. Everything, everywhere, just got hella hype out of nowhere, which is great. Obviously, representation, but also might just cloud the judgment of like best picture because they're gonna mm-hmm. like Coda. No one watched Coda last year, really. Yeah. So it might be yeah. something that no one's really watched. Co- uh, Banshee or. Yeah. I need to watch Banshee. Bro. I need to watch Banshee. You're watch the it one again. You're the one who said you didn't want to in the beginning. Dude, I literally didn't because I didn't think it was going to like... Th- there wasn't a lot of reasons. I saw the trailer and I was like, looks cool. I Martin think it, McDonough, I it was man. a movie that was going to be like put in the back. And like I was so wrong. You can't do I, like, my guy Colin like that. The amount of times <laughs> I've seen the still... I've seen two things on my Twitter feed. It's the main scene of... I'd rather do... Uh, spoiler for everything everywhere. It's the... Um, every, what was he saying? Um, the mood in the mood for love reference. Oh, um, uh, I in another life I'd want to be I'd in taxi. another life. I would love to. Oh, do uh, laundry with do you. Do laundry yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. And do laundry and do something. Open with a laundromat or something. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it's that still, and then under that, it's always the middle scene of Banshees. I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah, scene, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's um, what's his name talking? That's all I know. Yeah, and he's by a river. Fucking, that's the, the only two things I see. Go watch that one too. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see it. See it. What do you guys um, think? Okay, what? wait, hold on. Top Gun Two. Oh, I don't get it. I don't. I why? don't get it. It wait, was what, fun. Why? It was no. It was a good. Mo- I'm not saying it was a bad movie. Why? I enjoyed watching it. Why? 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 What? Why? <laughs> I have a question why? for you. Okay. Where did you see Top Gun? I saw it with my parents. Remember, I told you this on the oh. Arrowhead episode. Mm-hmm. It was the first movie in like ten years. Yeah, my dad was like, "Can we go see this in the yes. movie theater?" Did I you, saw it in IMAX. You did see it. I did see. I saw it at the Irvine Spectrum IMAX. Um, and then okay. After uh, f- after Top Gun, we'll go to the IMAX thing. But um, yeah, it was like a cool movie. I just like I I think the w- the making of it was more impressive. Like they were all flying their own jets. They like I think all that is great. All that's cool. But otherwise, okay. it's just like Top Gun kind of goes into our next topic. But we'll we'll skip. T- we'll go to the Avatar. Our next topic. Yeah, best performances and stuff. If and I swear to God, if you say Tom Cruise. No, 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 no. I'm not going to. No, no, no. We'll go into well, that later. I, dude, no, I'm going to no, go no. off on you harder than what I think this <laughs> no, is no, if no, you no. say Tom Cruise no, no, was the no, best no, performance. No, name two people that run as good as Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> that, that run as good yeah, as Tom Cruise? <laughs> <done, done. laughs> okay, okay. Um, 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 let's go into the topic of the Avatar 2. The Avatar IMAX. 2. Like, you don't think. Oh, I'm, no, no. Oh, okay, no. I think watching it at IMAX. Go into that. I think I watching a movie in IMAX, if it's meant for IMAX, makes it better. But if you don't watch it in IMAX and you don't like the movie, I don't think watching it in IMAX is going to make you but like I the think, movie. But I think I think it'll like it'll make sense more of like, oh, this is a good like production wise. I think you should be able to get that from watching it in digital, right? What? Um, 
you you pull you go into Google and you search up the Mona Lisa. It's okay. fine. It's like whatever. But are you standing in front of the Mona Lisa looking at the detail? That's a good analogy. But that doesn't make it a better painting. No, but I mean, what is the? But it makes it a better experience. So that's what I'm saying. The experience, experience could be better, but if you don't like but, the Mona Lisa but the painting, the Mona Lisa was not made for people to look at it on phones, right? No, no, I get what you're a saying. A lot of the time, filmmakers intend on IMAX. So yeah. here, here's the thing with Avatar, right? People that are like, oh, I saw it on, uh, like, we're going to see it go to streaming, and people are going to be like, oh, yeah, I saw it at home, right? You missed, like, the movie. Honestly, you missed but, the movie. Here, but, here, you no, but, you no, but you didn't. You did and you didn't. You did it and you didn't. Listen, 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 listen. The entire thing of Avatar and its runtime, which we're going to see in the sequels too, right? A, we're catching up after 10 years, or however long it has been yeah, since the first one, yeah. right? It's like, Not, tw- it's like, thir- it's like, yeah, it's like 12, 13, I think. Yeah. It's been an old as shit. Um, but the movie is really long, especially because the beginning, like the first half spends so much time of you getting to know Pandora. Right. Okay. And people are like, oh, well that's boring. Right. Mm-hmm. But James Cameron calls it hangout scenes, which is mm-hmm. fucking genius. If you think about it, the reason people think it's boring is because they're not used to it anymore. We're so used to we need to world build so we can have the plot get connected mm-hmm. to it immediately. But Avatar doesn't do that. Mm-hmm. You're just going through the water. You're learning with the main characters of like what's going on. I won't spoil like what happens, yeah, yeah. but like you spend a lot of time getting to know everyone, right? That's, true. That's genius, right? Yeah. The other part of that is if the whole thing of Avatar is that you get immersed into a completely different world, so Pandora in this case, right? Mm-hmm. Um, then you need to be able to like feel the feel water, and hear the sounds. Like, yeah, and then when, the characters. Yeah, and when shit hits the fan, right, when it comes to, like, Pandora, you want to feel the impact as That's much true. as the people that are living in it, that shit has hit the fan, right? I you will not you. get that experience if you're not in an IMAX theater, especially for this movie. That but downplays cinema, I no, think. No, I, but I, it doesn't, though, right? No, because you're saying you can't, you can't, ex- ex- like, what if people, if I watch a movie at home, that you're saying you won't, you are not enjoying that movie as much, which right. could no, be but true, but, but, but like, that's not fair to movies. But with your argument, he's saying, Avatar is made not to be like... Yeah, I know, like, the movie's like... But what yeah. happens when it, when it leaves its theater run? People still want people still but that's to watch that movie. Put, that's why you... That's right. why... Right, but that's but why I'm you want to put butts... You want to put... What's that What's that saying we learned? You want to put butts in seats? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. for sure. I, you can't... If you... If there's no choice to see an IMAX, that's one thing, right? It's a completely different thing. But if you have the option and you're like, I'm just going to wait till you get home, you're just not going to have a good experience. No, no, I'm with you that right. some movies should be watched in IMAX and are designed to watch in IMAX. Yeah. I'm saying if a person saw Avatar in digital and didn't like the movie, I don't think seeing it in IMAX is going to make them like the but movie. But I'm telling you, this 3D is like... This 3D no is crazy. Other. But it's, 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 it's storytelling. It's, at the end, I think it comes down to storytelling. If you don't like the story, you're not going to like no. it if you watch it a different no, way. No, but okay, look at... Okay, you're right, right? Look on this on a different <laughs> aspect, right? If you're a storyteller, then how can you utilize the tools that you have to make the story more enhanced, right? Or bring people into this world. Yeah, yeah, Right? If you're really going into Pandora, then you need to feel Pandora, right? That's what James Cameron's entire no, thing is. I agree is. with you. And that's why this 3D is... Like mon- monumental. We're on the so same page about that. I'm yes. just saying, if someone doesn't like it in digital, immersing themselves in IMAX isn't going to make them like the story more. But I also think there's like people that. Well, I think the problem with that is that people will like see Tenet on like an iPad, right? And be <laughs> like, "Oh, it was like fine." Mm. You can really see Tenet? On no, iPad. but she'll she'll do that with stuff. Oh, that's heartbreaking. But yeah, if you see Tenet <laughs> on an is, iPad, <laughs> that is really heartbreaking. You see Tenet on an iPad, right? Mm. Fine, you're getting the story, all of it, but you don't hear the do do do. Do, do, in the fucking IMAX theater that's shaking the entire the entire theater, yeah. right? It's you don't hear the gunshots that are like piercing because it's an Tenet experience. is made dude 100 percent with you. millimeter IMAX. 100 percent with not you. made for anything other than IMAX. We 100 percent agree. I don't know if we do though. We do on that on that fact. 100 percent agree. Do you it. don't hear all these things that make it better, but if you don't, but, but if you don't better, hear the though. gunshots fly by you and you don't like the movie. Immersing yourselves in these other like sensory things, I don't think will make you enjoy the movie more. No, but there's so you can have those movies that focus so much on the technicals that they they expect that spectacle to overwrite um, the story, right? <laughs> Marvel, excuse me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get that a lot, right? But if you can have it so much where the two are like joined together to make the experience, then I think that is a part of the experience. Does I that agree make with sense? you on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. But yeah. I do think that if something is made for IMAX, that is a part of the story. We have visionary directors that do that all the time, right? And I think that is exactly what they intend. Now you can go home and you can see it. If it comes down to the story that you didn't like, that's fine, 
right? But if you're like, this movie wasn't good, like people are doing with like, Avatar. And, yeah, we're I, saying like, that's not. But why are they saying it's not good? There's no, th- like, are they saying it's not good because I, okay, I was so immersed in Pandora? That's 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 another big question. Is like, <laughs> it's like, do you like? Do you not like the story, or do you not like it as a whole? If people say they don't like it as a whole, I feel like they need to go watch an IMAX to have if, the if full. If people experience. were like, "Oh, I thought it was like visually underwhelming," then I'd be like, "Okay, yeah, go see it in IMAX." No, but yeah. if but if okay. you're like, "I didn't like the characters, I didn't like the movie," I don't think seeing it in okay, IMAX so is going to make you like it. We're bringing back to the two people that we had dinner, the the group we had, and the two people oh, said yeah. it was boring. They just said overall it was boring. So when someone says a movie, that's what, yeah, I, yeah. If okay. someone says a movie's boring. That's just the whole experience. Yeah, probably a story is a bit of it, but that's like the whole experience is like it. It shouldn't be boring because if you watch it in IMAX, you'd have all these sensories. If you think a story is boring, I don't think watching it on a bigger, nicer screen with no, nicer I'm sound. Saying, but no, like you're missing know, an I'm entire saying, layer. No, I'm saying if they didn't like, I'm saying if someone says a movie is boring, that to me as sounds like boring as a whole. So if it was boring as a whole, you should have watched it in IMAX to have those sensories come at you, the sound, the visuals. Because if you that, saw it, because then standard. it adds, then it adds to the movie. If someone says, "Yeah, the story's boring," then the story's just boring. But if yeah. they say it's boring to me, if someone says it's boring, it sounds like it's just boring as a whole. When you should have watched it and to to enhance your experience. No, le- just remember. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. I, j- I don't think it's that dramatic of a change. Like like from digital to IMAX is a huge change. But like you still hear like bullets go by. You still you hear yeah, like like uh, we should do that. We should we should do this as an experiment and make him watch Avatar first on an iPad or something and yeah. then have him watch it like at IMAX. You're talking about ice cream with no toppings. <laughs> essentially. That, okay. That's what you're talking I about. I see right? your, I see where he's going with that. I see where he's going. Don't think. Take no, you got the ice cream. It's good. Take the story. Right? Take the story out the way. Take look at it as a whole. The whole experience. No, I I agree with you that if someone was like, oh, I was visually underwhelmed. Yeah, you would you would have no problems in IMAX. Yeah, but I'm saying if a person comes at it saying like the two people they said like it's boring. That to me sounds like it's boring as a whole. So then they should have watched it. My recommendation, if it was boring as a whole and they didn't watch it in IMAX, I would be like, go watch it oh, in IMAX. It, if example. someone says it's boring, I don't think like fixing the screen is what's going to make it no, okay. good It's not them. just fixing the screen. No, I know. Though. It's sound and, and I, that's what I mean. But like, I, if someone is like, I did not have a good time watching this because it was a boring movie and I wasn't interested, I don't think fixing the sound and screen is going to make them be like, this is a good movie. I get, I get where you come. I think, I, yeah, one, I think it's, we're saying it because we're movie buffs like that, so we get the difference. No, and I'm with you guys. I no, prefer no, no, to yeah, see yeah, movies yeah, yeah, in like yeah. IMAX and stuff, but I'm just saying. It's funny. I, I don't think that I would. That I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I okay. think we always have to put in perspective of like, not a lot of people know movies like us. No, so we can tell. We can tell the difference when it's film like Tarantino, and when it's not like when it's digital and IMAX. So we can tell those differences. We right. can tell when it's 75 and when it's 35. Right. A lot of people don't even know what the fuck those numbers mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> so yeah. I get where you're coming from too. Like, I think that's why story story is everything. Story is everything. But if you do want to have a better experience, no. Okay, here's the thing. IMAX. Though, if if you came up to me and was and was like Avatar was mid. Right, I beg. Where'd you watch it? And if you said standard or real three D, I would not take that opinion into effect. That's that, that is a fact. I think you down. Listen, I think you downplay movies that way. No, no, no. The but, impact but, of movies. No, but specifically, I would tell you that for Avatar, and specifically, I would tell you that for Inception. I'd tell you that for Tenet. I'll tell you. For I've all seen those Inception. Things, right? on, no, I think no, on fact, his this guy's um, fucking TV, yeah. and it's an amazing well, that is movie. A bad example, because yeah, Inception. It's does Inception have a lot going on. That's and Tenet, like. Uh, t- it's no, hard. But tenet, it's tenet's more rough. Uh, and uh, yeah, tenet, what would you, you say? Inception that. and what? Tenet. Uh, tenet. You could even say Dune, right? Dune is fucking insane in IMAX, and actually, a lot of people didn't See, get this, that. Experience. Okay, so that's this is a good example because I didn't watch a Dune in theaters. I watched it on on my TV. See, so like the only difference for Dune. In IMAX is like the f- like you just mi- like there were ships in the air that you didn't see. Yeah, yeah. So oh yeah, no, yeah. dude. No, but that was like a big thing. There was like just things in frame that you wouldn't see because it wasn't an, you weren't watching it but in there, IMAX. There's so much that's in frame that you don't see. I have the. That's, 4K. What, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you're are you, are you saying that like that's the only thing you're missing though? No, but I mean like that's what I'm talking. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Like okay, well, aspects let's, like let's that. Let's give it an example. To, let's give this a, like let's use this as an example because I thought Dune was all right. What do you think? Yeah, of Dune? Bingo. See, that's what I mean though. Okay. But I, but for me th- for me though for me though that's that is story. Like I did think like it was good. It was okay, like it, like what others are saying. It did feel like a trailer for number two, but visually it looked cool. But like I didn't have a cool. Ex- like is there a number two coming out? Yes. Yeah, it's a, yeah. There's three. 
Tenant movies? No, Dune. Oh my god, bro! I was like, "What are you talking that would about?" Be kind of badass. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I was like <laughs> what?" No, okay, no, Dune. Dune. Yeah, no, I know like Dune. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you like you said you love Dune, right? Dude, okay, so I saw it twice. First time, I was really too hungry to like understand it, right? <laughs> you were what? This, Say that. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, the second time, <laughs> <laughs> second time I go, right? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be prepared this yeah. time. Um, I don't. There's not a lot of IMAX movies that I've seen that have ever been this loud ever. Oh my god, bro! But I'm see, why does that mean it's no, a great no, no, movie? But listen, 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 right? Because I'm like, why? Why would this be so loud? Because we're talking the ships. Oh my god, bro! They're like on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, ships yeah. Are I, on you. I, I saw it. I, I, know, know, I know what you mean. Finish, That's finish. funny because I do remember playing it. It was loud, and I did turn it down a little bit. Like it was pretty loud, even was, like watching on like normal shit. I think I went to Universal for the second showing. So. I also, it's not, okay, so IMAX doesn't mean it's the same ratio every single time. Yeah, There's yeah. different numbers, basically. So IMAX could actually be this crop. So Avatar is this crop. It doesn't yeah. go full, full IMAX. Dark Knight does doesn't go full. Doesn't it switch? No, doesn't Avatar switch? Not to full, full, no. But it not, keeps not switching. Uh, it does switch aspect ratios, but we're talking, there's one, ma- I forgot the number. It's a uh, 143, I think, which is the true uh, IMAX. Yeah. True IMAX, Top yeah. to, to bottom, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to go see Dune, and I was like, Dude, and not only was it so loud, but the shots that they got that were top to bottom are breathtaking. Mm. I kid you not. They were so so vivid and bright on the screen that I was like, there's just no fucking way that, like, mm. like you could enjoy this at home, right? A 4K crop on those scenes, oh, my gosh, throw it out the window, right? <laughs> Good shots, but you're just missing this entire entire but, you, but, but, dude, going, but I can't on, agree with done, you there. Done, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. I got done. you. I got you. I'm not done. I got you. Hold on, listen, listen. Hold on. Being watching this movie in IMAX made it feel like the sand was getting in my eyes. I kid you not. I literally felt dirty because I felt like I was in this planet, right? And that's exactly what you want for Dune, just like you want for Avatar, because right. Dune is so based around what's going on, right? I like. I don't imagine me being at home and understanding the significance of spice in this universe, but that's the entire That is the thing, entire movie. Right? But seeing that, it's like literally like you're witnessing the events in real time. Yeah. I don't think having those things without, like uh, seeing this at home would have had that mm-hmm. same impact on me at all. Mm-hmm. And I think Dune is very much an atmospheric type of movie. Same yeah. with Avatar. And I think if, you ha- if you're dealing with you, a I world you, like I that, then like you should. You should be seeing it on the biggest screen possible. You okay. Sh- Going back, going back, going back with the aspect ratios and shit. Okay. If we ask any people that don't really know movies, they would be, "What the fuck are you talking about?" But are you telling me they're gonna be just as bored watching it? Yes. And, no, I, I disagree. Yes. I disagree. I think it would be so loud for them; they just could not get out of it. I think they would have to watch. But I, that's but that's <sighs> movie makers, bro. Like, cause we get that. Like, we get the purpose of that. I'm not saying that because every movie needs to be an IMAX, right? We went oh, to yeah, Babylon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Babylon was standard, just normal, standard, digital, right? Mm-hmm. Great movie, had a great time. Mm-hmm. I was like, dude, I, I am sad this is not an IMAX, but it's fine, right? Because I had a great time regardless. Yeah. You don't always need it. But when it comes to specific movies, I think that if you didn't see an IMAX, you kind of missed a huge chunk. Yeah, but I, like I those people, though, those people that don't really get movies and like the techno- t- uh, the technical aspects of it, like they wouldn't know the, they don't even know the difference of IMAX and regular shit. They'll just say the screen's bigger. Right, right. But You I'm know what I'm like saying? So like that wouldn't make them, like I... I'm in sort of agreement with him saying, like, it's not going to make the movie better for those kind of people. Yes, okay. for us. Yeah. But those people don't even know the difference of IMAX and digital. But we're talking, okay, so uh, going back to Avatar, we're talking about a director that has spent, I mean, we're talking about a guy that's apparently taken apart an entire camera and put it back together to understand <laughs> what everything does, right? See, but the, thing, no, but but the thing is, people don't know that. No, that's facts. But listen, listen, right? This guy is so invested on 3D, and you can see the first Avatar, right? Mm-hmm. He's one of the only directors now. We still get movies in 3D, right? Mm-hmm. But what are the main hitters of 3D in the last few years? Um, like IMAX 3D, nonetheless. Not really anybody. Avatar. You have James Cameron. I know. Underst- I understand that people will not know these things, right? But if you've intended to experience a certain thing in a certain way, right? So if you went to Avatar, you saw an IMAX 3D, and you were still like mid, mm-hmm. right? I'd love to know why. That I'm down to listen to. Because I'm like, okay, we had every aspect that should like immerse you in this experience. What's the issue, right? Okay. And you could be like, it's the story. I didn't like how I didn't like the hangout sequence because they were too long. Okay, valid, right? There are there are things that I can understand you not liking, but if okay. you went to digital and you went like uh, what, the one thing I'm hearing a lot is like this looks like a PS5 cutscene, right? I cannot accept that because I know you went digital. I, I think they just mean the mocap though. I think they just mean the way that it no, looks. No, 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 because literally, if you didn't see this IMAX, I think it would look like a cutscene. 
I, I, I can understand mm-hmm. why that could happen. But if you went IMAX 3D, that's why it looks like it. It's literally meant well, for 3D. Well, if it's a 3D, it's we're right talking, here. That's why I can't be We're talking, and again, I don't understand the person to know this, but they apparently took things that are in the foreground and changed the frame rates of those things from the background that's element, cool. right? That's crazy yeah. as fuck. Would make no sense on a standard screen, right? Yeah. You can you have to see it at home. I get it. But no that's way. just impressive filmmaking. I don't think that makes it a good no, movie. But, but I think those two are those are exclusive though. things. But those are that's intention though. Sure. That is the but way like, that you experience it. It is made literally in the movie itself. Not just for IMAX. It is made in the movie itself to have different frame rates so that the 3D makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's experience. That is that is true experience. Now you you don't always have that. Right, we're talking. Avatar has been in the works for however many but years. We always, but we oh, always. Sorry, I keep going. But I'm, I'm just saying. Like, I think if you have to come down to like really judging movies like Avatar that are meant like that specifically on a technical level, you mm-hmm. can say the same thing about Nope. Right? Nope yeah, isn't 3D. Not a lot of people got Nope. A lot of people are disappointed. We, a lot of but we always talk about movies that are visually like stunning, but, but that are bad visual, movies. Though. That is true. Oh yeah, facts. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, spectacle does not overtake story. That is no, fact. but I'm saying if someone came to you and saw IMAX 3D and they were like, okay, the hangout scenes I didn't like. And then someone came to you and saw it in digital and said, okay, I didn't like the hangout scenes. I'm not going to value that the same. But it's the same okay. opinion. But not really, though. It's two different experiences. But <sighs> I feel like that's in, yeah, but that's hard, though, because not a lot of people do their research. I, like, I, that's I, downplaying. No, but that's, that's downplaying, downplaying the impact of movies in yeah, my Yeah, like, that's okay, for okay. us. That's for us. That's for us. Like, we're only going to, like... You should be, I, I think your Avatar audience should be able to case. enjoy your filmmaking. No matter what. Yeah. I, I agree. Because then, right? then you're saying you can only enjoy a movie to its maximum potential for two, three months. And that makes it, that makes our audience, yeah. I feel like with that argument. Ah, that's, I, I yeah. can't. Well, not maximum. There are movies that won't be like that. Like we said Inception. Inception mm-hmm. was, I believe, an IMAX release. Yeah. I didn't get to catch that because I was too young. Right? Yeah. Or I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, so, time, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> Fucking bummer. And I have so many movies like that. Interstellar never got to witness in theaters. Those are movies that story absolutely relies on, right? Yeah. There are other movies that are meant specifically for this. And I think Avatar is such a specific case because they spent so long on this technology. I, I think that's impressive filmmaking. I don't think that automatically makes it a good movie. No, I don't. I don't. I oh, don't okay, think okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, movie, okay, okay. But I think that. To experience the movie, you should see fullest, it the way that it was intended. It. Exactly, okay. I think intention okay. in, in movies is so specific. I, I don't that. think it's I agree. With, on I, I agree, agree with you there. I think that you should see it the way you should try to see it the way it was intended. But not. But if you don't, I don't think it ruins your experience. Yeah, That's and fair. I, I, but I and will I say like I will value the the opinion of somebody that did see it in the fullest form over a different thing. I'm not downplaying. But we can't. But okay. in my opinion, we can't make for for like me personally, I wouldn't be able to make a movie. Because that's just maxing out your audience demographic, like, to the yeah. fullest. Because now you're only going to, like, care about the opinions about the people that, like, do their research and all that. Where, like, a lot of people, like I said, don't even know the history. No, no, he's just saying someone who saw it in IMAX 3D. Yeah. Not not even knowing what IMAX is. No, just yeah, no, seen but I'm going, back, I'm going back to the to the point of what you made. It was, like, where it, it downplays movie, movie uh, making and just movies in general because, like, not... Majority of people don't do their research. Yeah. So, like, I feel like sometimes, like, you can't expect people to do what how you want to watch it, you know? And, like, That's fine. Oh, and then oh, you, can still, you can still have your opinions on, like, Avatar if you want standard. I'm just not going to value that as much as somebody that... <laughs> but what just about, fuck you if you've seen it yeah, that way. But, <laughs> but, like, are you going to say that, like, when you make a movie where it's intentional and stuff and they don't watch it the way you want to watch it but they still say it's bad or they, they watch it both ways and it's, like, are you still not going to validate Again, that? Again, no, I'm going to say it's different because it's Avatar, though. I will say Avatar is such a specific case because that's what brought us to this topic. Okay. Avatar that's is fair. super that's specific. Now, there are movies that are optimized for IMAX, which means they weren't intended or filmed in IMAX I ratio. Get that. Wakanda yeah. Forever is expanded. It's not filmed in IMAX, yeah. I don't believe. Yeah. Um, other movies do the same thing all the time. That's fine. You don't have to see an IMAX because those things were not not literally made for IMAX. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. They were just optimized for it. You'll have a good time seeing Wakanda Forever in standard. Right? Down to the story, we're good. But if it's a movie that's so based on atmosphere, you should be kind of seeing it in the best way possible. That's uh, I, I, I get, do. I get your point. That that's intention. But I don't think I get your point on that. But I also get his point where if we had these two people uh, watch it again in IMAX, they're still not going to be like, "Oh, it's a good movie." But they're still they're still going to be like, "Oh." But you also so have that missing first time. I, I I'll tell you, like seeing it the first time. Oh, actually, here's a good example. Uh, in Avatar 3D re-release, the first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, went to go see it, and I was like, this 3D is good. Oh, the, the universe is cool. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I, I enjoyed my viewing. And then after the credits, I didn't know they were going to do a teaser or like a whole scene from Way of the Water. Oh, they cool. Yeah, they did a That's whole cool. scene. And it was in IMAX 3D, so they could just switch it over, right? Um, and it started playing. And when I tell you, I was just like. Oh, it was the new 3D? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just no fucking way. Right? It's just. Insane. You that just like, makes it more fun, though. In no, my no, opinion, no, 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 no. Like, we're, like we're talking experiencing like, that is just like a more, is like a, a fun, is more fun. No, but like, I'm, you're, like I, you're looking at it as a person. You're, I think you're both looking at it in two different ways because you're looking at it as a just a normal person. Yeah, it's like he's looking at it as if someone did their research and like knows. I, I, but not always, though. I don't all, think like always, I think what you're saying or you're talking about ha- is like pointing to the direction of the audience that knows their movie. I well, think the average person that went to go see Avatar and then got that scene after would also be like, oh, fuck. Like, this looks crazy. Yeah, 100% yeah. agree with you. Yeah. But I don't think it makes it a better... It's a it's a more fun experience. experience. Like like I'll, like you said Interstellar. Use the Interstellar example, right? Yeah. I saw Interstellar in IMAX when it came out in theaters. That sounds I've seen it at home a billion times. It's It looks nicer on the IMAX screen and it's a more fun experience. Yeah. Just as good of a movie as if when I watched it at home. I see you. The just, movie is just as good. There are going to be a lot of cases like that. I'm not saying it's yeah, always going to be like fair. that. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Avatar, Avatar, Avatar. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Avatar. That's fair. Top Gun Maverick. <sighs> all right. Wait, we've talked about this. Okay. I don't get it. No, no, no. I let's do go. Not let's, get let's bring it all. We talked a lot. We talked. Let's bring yeah. it all. <laughs> <laughs> we talked a lot. It's a good debate. Um, a good, yeah. If you're listening to this and you're not like a movie person, or even if you are a movie person, hopefully this was like helpful because. We talked about a lot of cool shit. I feel like we talked a lot, about, uh, a lot of cool shit that not a lot of movie normal people, like I said, like yeah, yeah. like that. There is a difference between IMAX and that. There's How many IMAX debates have you watched? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We we bring it to you here first. But um, going back to Top Gun Two, I don't. Oh, let's go. It's not that I don't like it. It's a good movie. It was a fun movie. I just don't. I don't get why. It, it's on everyone's like top list, and everyone. I don't. I don't understand why Quentin Tarantino said it was like the pe- the pinnacle of filmmaking. I think he says the pinnacle of filmmaking because how they filmed it. That's and uh, that's what I was that's saying. Technically, technically, impressive as shit. Yeah. Technically, insane. it's insane. IMAX, IMAX cameras in a goddamn plane. How many they had like seven, not even plane. Seven, oh, like yeah. a fighter jet. A fighter like, jet. Like yeah. This much room in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. You did, yeah. And there's so, hardly CGI. In see, I think. There's extremely CGI. impressive, insane filmmaking. The only CGI is obviously the missiles and shit and all that. Insane filmmaking. Don't get the hype about the movie. Like, like story wise, yeah. Like, let's yeah. Go, like, no. let's, like, like, and let's sure, it's it, building off of nostalgia off the first it, let's movie. Let's bring it to the Avatar topic because yeah. you watch it in IMAX now, right? I did. So you just don't like this. Tell movie me, don't lose you. Huh? Where did it lose you? Yeah, 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 yeah. It just wasn't anything like especially interesting or unique to me. It was just like. Mm-hmm. Okay, they got to do like an impo- like an impossible fighter jet mission. And then they bring on like the old like head guy that was the best at what he did to do it. Okay. Like the twist of the movie was like, "Oh, he's going to do it himself." We're going spoilers, by the way. Definitely that that was a spoiler. That happens. was a spoiler. Spoilers. But for me, the twist of the movie was like, "Oh, none of the students are going to do it." He Tom Cruise is going to do it. That was like the But he had some students do it. Yeah, they did it with him, but like the whole the whole thing was like, oh, like he's gonna teach them to do it, and he's like, no, I'm gonna do it. So you're saying just the story wise, yeah, a little like, like, eh. like we've seen it before. Yeah. Okay. I I I. The only problem I had with it is I really wanted I I really wanted someone to die because they were saying. <gasps> oh, I think I said that at the end of it too. I was like, everything worked out perfectly. Yeah, because my only thing story wise, like, because they kept. They kept saying impossible. Like this is in- tra- insane. Two weeks we got to do this. You will be torn apart. Yeah, like like they're <laughs> saying like yeah. this is, <laughs> like this is impossible to do. Like I, I like I don't know how like Tom Cruise is gonna teach this. I, like how is he gonna yeah. make these? And then he did survive? it. Okay, cool, fine. He's the best ever. He he did it. But like, success. but like yeah, everything went perfectly. Which I, I wish someone did die. But I think I, I think I said that twice. That's you my guys only after problem because story wise, someone did. Huh? Technically, somebody did. Yeah, someone did, but like that's like that was emotional. All right, let's. To me, this brings it all back to our our second topic: best performance. I ripped up the napkin. Best performance uh, of twenty twenty two. Are we doing actors? Act any perform all any any performance any the best acting performance of twenty twenty two. I think I know what he's gonna say. I've written it down 
on this napkin. Because he thinks if I say if this, I'm like, right, I'm you're gonna hear another. You're gonna hear me go off again on Dylan. Podcast. Yeah, this is gonna be a really long episode if I'm just right like, about who no, Dylan hey, says. I really like this because now we're all like this. Just shows we're so comfortable yeah. with each other now, and <laughs> yeah. like we'll debate this, and it's good for the audience because okay. they know. I want no one Dylan to go last. You go first. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> you go first. But, okay, 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 okay. Um, okay. Mine was um. I, I don't know how to. I say don't know it. mine still. To be honest, I don't know how to say his I name. Really I, I'm gonna butcher it, it, and I apologize if I do. Is it K? Oh, from Everything Everywhere. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I know yeah. how to say his name. Key. His name Key? is Key. Yeah. What, oh. How do you say his whole name? I don't know his whole name. I'm not gonna. Key Hey Quan. Key something Quan. Yes. Key. Uh, I'm not gonna butcher it. Um, I don't want to butcher it either. Well, I just butchered but it. So. <laughs> Are <you> serious, <laughs> dude. That's um, fucking yeah. dude. <laughs> fucking racist, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. His performance and everything everywhere, um, and especially I'm I'm thinking of this too because it's stuck in my mind. In the last week, my <laughs> parents finally watched it. I don't want to get into what their thoughts were, <laughs> but they were watching it, and I was uh, I was getting ready to leave, and I was like, you know what, let me stay. I have a little time, so I decided to go down there and watch it. And they were like mid movie, right, or towards the beginning. Spoilers again. Um, it's the part where she uh, she punches Jamie Lee Curtis's character, mm-hmm. and. I see him just oh, like going yeah. from like the dad doing this thing and he looks up, right? Yeah. And then he switches into the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Not, I was just thinking that scene, the the scene I was talking about earlier where he has that um the line about the taxes yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and another life. Um all of his scenes are just like, oh my god, like he's good. I don't think anybody could have done it like you. He's good. Like, I hope he works just more. like Me too. It. dude, yes. Well, he is he's in the new Loki, you know? Yes. And in the yes. new is he no, never mind, never mind. He's not new Indiana Jones, is he? No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, so. I also hope that doesn't happen. I hope it doesn't. I don't know why I thought that was, I think that's what I was thinking of the Loki. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's in the new Loki. Congrats, um, man. But dude, it's, I just love his good performance. He's such a good. For me. He's Solid such choice. A, he's such a good person too. Like, did you yeah, see his, his ex- speech? His speech, oh. and then and then I saw like a lot of like behind the scenes TikToks where like people like the like uh, in, like Entertainment Tonight and all that like post like ask him like how do you feel and he was like so genuine. I'm like. He's such a good person. Dude, come on the man. podcast, man. Please. Dude, please you come. totally Just would. That right would be here. really cool. Hey, um, if you're watching okay. this, if you know him too. Any yeah, connections? Yeah, send, him, send him more shit. <laughs> yeah, send him more shit. All right. My top I'm really going last because of your shit. Oh, 100%. My top performance was Michelle Yeoh. Wonderful. From Wonderful. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Wonderful. Top performance of the year. Wonderful. Good picture. Good yeah. picture. Yeah. And there needs to be no explanation. No explanation? Yeah. Yeah, she speaks for herself. What's to say? It hasn't been said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dylan. Okay. Please say it. Please say it. Please say it. I have two on my mind. <laughs> please say it. Please say it. <laughs> but I honestly it, don't. Say it. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly don't think it's it's. I have an idea who. I th- I feel like I think if you you would if you if you were gonna say it you would know who that I was gonna say. Yeah, it to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's two people. Okay. On the radar for me. All right. Just in case I get up screaming. <laughs> well. There's two, and then there's one, like, honorable mention. Go, 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 go. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the first one? What's the first one? I because got it, I, right. think, I think the honorable mention is the one you're going to be really mad <sighs> at. Okay, it's still okay. not going to be that person. Okay, all right, let's hear it. All right, the top two in my mind right now is Key oh, and okay. also Brad Pitt and Babylon. <sighs> okay, that's not what Ooh, I thought I was going to say. Wow. That's, all, that's, that's interesting, though. That. Because a lot of the scenes, like, he has, like, Damn it. like it's in the trailer, but, like, when he's drugged up, and then when he becomes happy and stuff, like, and then runs in the house, like, that's, like, that switch up is crazy, just, like, he, and, like, the moment where he was filming that scene on um, the mountaintop, you know, um, and he's, like, kissing that girl, like, it's that one scene on the mountain where it had, like, 800 guys on the floor, like, battling. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the movie that flopped? The movie that flopped, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was acting with that girl, and, like, he switches up and stuff, like, and then he goes back to his normal self. Like, it was so, like, it's yeah, crazy how, act- Interesting. like, I love when actors do that, when they can do, uh, when they play, like, an actor. Like, they have to play themselves as a character, and then they have to play them. The character is acting. The character is in the movie, yeah, like yeah. in the movie. Also, just want to say Margot's performance that is probably one of my favorite of hers. Of ever, her, of her ever. career, probably like top. For of her career, like yeah, Margot, yeah, yeah for she's sure. amazing as Harley Quinn. Yeah. Though she kills it. Yeah, but Babylon, that yeah. was like all right. Her who, career. Who's, who's the, the honorable, honorable mention? mention? Is Tom Cruise? Sorry. For Top Gun, wow. yes. that's <laughs> insane. Yeah. That's worse than this one. Yeah, that's worse than the one that I wrote yes. down. Yes. How? 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 Dude, like I don't know. Like. 
The scene, How? The scene. Hold on, hold on. Oh, you should say what's on the no, no, Okay. Wait, I'll tell okay. you why. I'll tell you why Tom, Tom Cruise. He's that a, is insane. He's an honorable mention because one of the scenes that I was like, how the fuck is he getting me emotional about this? Is the scene. In Top Gun? Yes. When he, when he had the conversation with Iceman. When he had that conversation with Iceman, I was like, holy bejesus. How is he, how is his, like, the facial, like, expressions and... He only had like three lines in that scene, but like that scene was so impactful, like with Iceman and like watching the first one and knowing the history of that, and just knowing um, uh, Vil, uh, uh, Kilmer's, uh, Val Kilmer's like like what he has a problem in real life. Oh yeah, yeah you know, yeah, and yeah. then seeing that dynamic, like from the first Top Gun, which was like thirty years ago. And, like, them back together. And then, he, like, Tom Cruise, like, choking up and start crying with no dialogue. Dude, I'm not going to lie. He's spitting. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Spinning. And I was it's like, cool. how is Tom Cruise? I was I'm surprised. I'm, like, sad. Dude, when he talks about Rooster, I know exactly yeah, what you're talking about. Yeah, and then when he talks about. about Rooster, and then... And then he's like, you have to let go. And then he has, like, that tear in his eye. He has eye. that like, tear, and he's like, I don't, I, he's like, I don't know. Oh. I don't know how to. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. that scene, and even in the beginning scene, when he gets thrown out of the bar, and he sees he sees uh, yep. Rooster playing the piano... I was like, this madman is going off. Like, Tom Cruise. The, the scene where he walks by and sees Miles Tall on the piano? Yes. I could do that for you right now. <laughs> I can walk by a window and go. <laughs> did not do that. No, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. I know. He but did not I did that. <laughs> did not. But, like. Obviously, obviously, insane. You know what helps though? Obviously, the story helps. It's thirty yes, years it ago. Does, obviously, does. the story helps. But if it wasn't for his acting, I still wouldn't feel anything from it. Dude, Tom Cruise is the same ten facial expressions in every movie. But Top Gun, I'm telling you, Top Gun was different, right? Am I capping? His no cap on his yeah. acting performance. No cap. It was the I'm exact same. hundred. It was the exact same as Mi One, Mi Two, <laughs> Mi Three, Mi Four, Mi Five. Absolutely not. Absolutely it was the same not. thing as Jack Reacher. Absolutely it was the same thing. As it was not I, the same as Jack. Reacher. It wasn't I, the same as Jack Reacher. I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that. Wasn't the same as Jack Reacher. Absolutely not. I'll give you. I'll give you all those movies you named. Yes, they're all the same character. But this one, he had depth for some reason. It's obviously the story help, but if it you could if, say it's the most depth we've. Seen it's from. the most depth we've seen from Tom Cruise, and yes, the story help. Okay, I'll if, give you that one. I'll give you that. I'll, they, give you, I'll give you that one. Right. If, yeah. it, if it wasn't, if it wasn't, oh. if it wasn't for his acting, the like I keep saying, the story helps. But if it wasn't for his acting, the story it wouldn't help the story. So like that's why like. The acting for him in this movie was superb, in my opinion. Um, I do. I think. I think Miles Teller acted circles around him. Oh, uh, d fuck. Duh. Yeah. Shit, yeah. yeah. Miles Teller. Yeah, he's a fucking he's god right now. Goat. Like he's Just fucking. The okay. He's the goat. But if it like movie wise, it was Miles Teller and Tom Cruise, like all Damn, the way. I didn't like think about Miles Teller, bro. You didn't think about Miles Teller. Oh come on! <laughs> no one from this movie should get best performance. <laughs> I, no. Am I lying though about Tom Cruise though? No. You know what I mean. I see your point. You should read what's on the napkin though. Oh, I think that makes this funny. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the napkin, No, but, like, honestly, what that's about? worse than what's yes. on this napkin. Okay, do you get what I'm saying about I do. Tom Cruise? I do. Though? I would say this. Uh, okay. Also, I haven't seen Eyes Wide Shut or some of the other stuff that he's in, even the classic Mission Impossible. Oh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I will say, from what I've seen from Tom Cruise, this is like a, a Dude, lot of depth. It was. I get that. It was crazy. Bro. I'll, I'll give you. I, I will most say emotion I've seen out of him. Year, I don't know about that one. For but, me, for but me, I, it was. I understand your your points. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. rooster scene, especially, I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will agree with you. Best, best, most emotion I've seen out of him is in Top Gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, there was no other character besides Key and Brad Pitt where I was, like, really, really, really impressed. But, and then, obviously, Margot Robbie, like, top career, and then Michelle Yeoh. But I, for some reason, I always knew, like, even though she didn't have, hey, silence, bro. I'm so sorry. I don't know. Just even so though, popular. even though Michelle Yeoh didn't, has never had a role, like, this impactful, I always knew she had, she was a really good actress. Like, I always knew, like, even, he, like, if I heard about this, I would be like, okay, yeah, she's going to kill it. Like, I already know. All right. So. On this napkin. Can I guess who it is? Yeah. Can I guess who yeah. it is? You think I was going to say Austin Butler? Yes, <laughs> because, because, that's what I wrote down. I wrote down Austin Butler, because when Elvis came out, all you would talk about is he's going to win the Oscar. He's going to win Best Actor. He's going to, he's, he's, I, he's, yeah, he's that's, insane. Yeah, that was before, and, that was before and, I saw those and other movies. I want to clear up. I don't disagree with you. I think he's a good actor. I'm not trashing on Austin <laughs> Butler. I just, I've. 
I don't know. Did we have this debate yeah. on the podcast already? The whole thing about if we did, biopics. If we did, that sucks because oh, we've had it. Okay, that's why I thought that was funnier. Yeah, because this right. goes back into what we were. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If we did, we did have, if we did have this conversation, that sucks. We'll, we'll keep it brief. We'll keep no, it brief. no, because we're gonna have this. Uh, we're gonna that's have this conversation that's gonna be brief. Yeah, bro. Austin like, we're Butler, go crazy. amazing actor. I was just really heated that he was gonna say he should win uh, or best performance because I think the there should be a separate award. For playing a real person. Because you think it's like... Because they always win. It's a... Go- oh. They always win. Do they, though? Not in, like, the last two years, I'd say. But most of the time, the biopic actors win. Rami Malek won. For Bo Rap. Bohemian Rap. Did he win? Yeah. I don't think so. No, he won, but I'm, I promise you. I'm, hold on, what? Bohemian Rhapsody. He won for uh, Freddie Mercury. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. You did? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that that's right. what I'm saying. Like, you... That's how it is. It, is. it is obviously, like, it's still incredibly difficult, but, like, you are working off of something. Yeah. You that's have, like, you have you have a source to look at and be like, I need to become this person. But if, if you're Brad Pitt and you're given the Babylon script, you're like, I have to create this person from nothing. I have to make okay. this person as enjoyable to watch as this person with nothing. My, my, deb- I agree. I, there's parts I don't agree where my argument where I'm going to come and fight back on is, is yeah, it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a guideline. Yeah. Like for those people. And then we'll like, we'll do those comparisons, uh, guideline like Elvis and then Brad Pitt. Yeah. I feel like with those kind of characters, like they have more freedom to do whatever, like not whatever. This person does, right? Brad Pitt has more freedom. Yeah, that's exactly my point. So I think they that's have, it's easier than than because you Elvis can make be, bad choices really easily. They can, yeah, I agree with you that. But when you're when you're playing someone, you have to you have to be like that person. You have, yeah, to, which is hard. But I think that's that, easier than I. Th- okay, so here's my thing. So Austin Butler, if, if, Austin if, Butler's goal uh-huh. is I have to make. Everyone believe without a doubt that I am Elvis Presley. Exactly. So he can't make those. Brad Pitt has to say, I have to make the best choices in every scenario to make sure I am just as entertaining to watch as this guy. But I think the mistake, the the mistakes and risk is higher than 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 Elvis than than. But Brad the Pitt. possibility of risk is lower for this one. What do you mean possibility? Like oh yeah yeah I agree. Brad Possibly. Pitt has more chances to fuck up the role entire. Not Brad Pitt specifically, but like in this yeah, situation, yeah, yeah, I guess you, I guess in this you. situation, Brad Pitt has more opportunity to fuck up than Elvis than Austin Butler. He has more opportunities, but also those opportunities, some some like mistakes or things, the choices he made, you might not like, but like everyone else like because sure that everyone isn't gonna like someone, but everyone can probably unanimously agree that. They looked fucking. Didn't Elvis Presley's like daughter or something say that like she watched Austin Butler on screen and was like, Th- thought it was like, Elvis. She was like, it was like my dad was right. So there. that's what I'm saying. I feel like that's a bigger task and a bigger ask for actors because if they do make a little mistake or if they do do a choice that that people but don't you, think Elvis, you aren't making be- choices. You're just no, no. what can I do to to be like this person. No, but like choice, no, like choices though, like choices of like not the way he talks or whatever, like choices as like maybe the choices are like in the story too, like all that. But like, yeah, yeah, that's fair. I think that's higher risk and higher reward for those actors because they have little, they have little room for error. Do you get what I'm saying? Those actors have little room for error compared to Brad Pitt because, like you said, he's doing this from the ground up so he can make a choice that you might not like, but he thinks is the character. That's so, what like, I'm he saying. has exactly. more, but he, he he has could, more room to be play. He has more room to play. So that's why I think those actors that do those biopics is higher risk, higher reward. All right, Dylan. Let's say. <laughs> what do you say? What like wh- Let, the, I just want to give this one example, and then, no, Brandon, the asking. mic is yours. Let's say I bring you a table, completely disassembled, right? Okay. I, bring you a ta- I bring you all of the pieces of a table. I got you. And I, I and, I, and I say, put this together. Mm-hmm. All right? And then I walk out. Mm-hmm. But let's say I walk in the room. I give you all the pieces of a table with See, an instruction manual. <laughs> that's different. I get that. I get that. 
But that's like you still ha- you still have to be insanely talented. You still have to be able yeah, to yeah, portray yeah. those We're things. Not, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. We'll take you, that out of the aspect of the argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Austin talent. Butler is an amazing yeah, actor. Yeah, yeah. Th- that is not the part. That's not the thing I'm saying. The argument is: are the is, actors they shouldn't be they shouldn't be uh, higher praised than the others, or they shouldn't be in the same category. Yeah, yeah. I think they should because that takes a- that takes more act. That I feel like. Maybe not acting chops, but that takes that is just higher risk, higher reward. Like higher risk, as in like they can't fuck up. Like if I, if, if Austin if Austin Butler did make an acting choice that like that Elvis wouldn't do personally, like but that just wouldn't happen. Is what I'm saying. That that would not. Ha- no one would let that happen. No, I, that happens all the time with a lot of movies. Like a lot of there's a lot of biopics that people would watch and they're like, yo, this is not him. This is not how it goes. This is like horrible. Like, but I think and that's, then like we might like, see because I just heard fucking someone this actor kid I don't like I don't know his name who does all these bullshit. I shouldn't say this because. <laughs> <laughs> scratch that. Sorry from, sorry, yeah, 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 sorry. yeah. There's this actor that I don't necessarily like, or not like because. I... Is it, okay. Who is it? There's this actor. I'm trying to use words because we're in the industry too. This actor is not your favorite. This actor is not my favorite, and he does these rom coms on Netflix. And I just heard that he's oh. also playing Elvis in a new movie. Um, he's in that new that new TV show or series, the the recruit, the recruiter. Yeah, are you talking about? We can't name him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Noah Centineo? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. This yeah, year, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. trying to shit on anyone. No it's just Centineo. my opinion. No, I think I, he was good in Black Adam. You didn't think so though. No. Yeah. Um, um, we're gonna see. We, we can. We can go. We will. When we see, well, let's watch this Noah Centineo Elvis compare it to this Elvis. I, I, the movie. It's not about him though, right? It's about it Priscilla. Is. I thought. Yeah, but Elvis. I, he's I, in it. Yeah, I heard yeah. Elvis is a big. Yeah, yeah, no, he's definitely it. in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. Like, like we'll see who's like. That's why we always see like. Uh, but see, it's another? like who can be Elvis better? Is that's the, like right? But that's acting though. That, d- that is no, no. Yeah, yeah that's acting. But you still I have think, to be a good but actor. That's what I'm saying. He did such a good job where I didn't see. I didn't see Austin Butler. Where maybe if we see this Elvis with Noah Centineo, I'm gonna be like, oh, I see Noah Centineo. Like the choices he made. Like I don't see Elvis. That's what I'm saying. It's higher risk, higher reward. I don't think it's higher risk. I think it's literally the opposite. I, I really do. I really think it's literally higher risk here. Yeah, but you, ha- but because well, everyone's back. already gonna go to the movie. Everyone's already. Everyone wants yeah, to see not, Elvis. Yeah, but n- that doesn't say he's gonna have a good performance of Elvis. No, that's true. But every everyone can look at him and be like, "Oh, you mimicked a person that I know in real life extremely." But well. mim- I think you're downplaying that. This is where no, we're no, going. That's, I think you're downplaying I, I cannot, mimicking. I cannot emphasize enough. I don't even think it's mimicking either. Sure, it is. You, you he has movement coaches to move like Elvis to mimic his movements. To mimic his voice. Okay, come in. Yeah, absolutely. Do you take it? Okay, take, the take, take, take right. the stage. Well, can I say one thing? One yeah. Say one thing. One thing. One thing. With Brad Pitt, I'm gonna say there's more room to play. I, I think that's harder. I have. That makes it harder. Really? I, I I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I think that's it is what is proving my point in my opinion. There, there's a small fact about this which is kind of pivotal. I think, but I would have to get this fact checked. I think Brad Pitt's character is based off somebody. In Okay, uh, literally uh, any it, okay, any, any other anyway, scripted anyway. character. We'll like, go to like key. Just, Let's yeah. say key. Any other script. Well, Michelle Yeoh. It doesn't, yeah, it Michelle doesn't Yeoh. matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. other scripted character, they have to build an interesting character from the ground up, just they using do. words. They do, they do. But my thing is, they have to build it from the ground up, but they have so many avenues to do it. Like, they have to make those choices. And that is hard. That is hard. This route is a fuck up. This route is a fuck up. This route is a fuck up. And this route is good. This route is a fuck up. This route is a fuck up. This route is a fuck up. I get that. Austin but, Butler has one route to go down. But that's even hard. To me, that's harder. You have one route and one route only. That's it. But no. that means you, you have, have you can only. you have all of the time in the world to perfect this one thing. You have to on this side you have to test yeah. this out. Does this work? Does this work? Does this work? No, I don't like this. No, I don't like this. No, I don't like this. So I think you're saying okay, you're just okay, I get your aspect. Are you saying it's just harder work or it takes No, more? actually hold on. Before we get to that, this would not be a problem anywhere, right? Where this becomes a problem, like this entire discussion is when it comes to Oscars. Because if you have Yeah, that's the whole thing I'm that's saying. The whole yeah, that's, thing. Thing. that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. Yeah. I, I honestly I agree with Mo. Okay. Right. I'm not an actor. You guys are. So I don't understand this. No, side but it's it, good. Well, right? we gotta hear you're a movie goer. So I, I do agree. You can fuck up uh, being a person in the biopic. Right. You could fuck that up. That is that is an option. But I do agree that there's a lot of value that comes from somebody that makes their character. Right. Now, are there cases where somebody that's in a biopic should get it? 
hundred percent and it happens, right? Mm-hmm. Especially with um and I haven't seen this movie, but I I, lo- I watched his like um his experience making it, which was McConaughey for um Dallas uh, Buyers Club? Yes, I think oh, so. Oh yeah. He talks about what he did in preparation for this movie, listening to tapes, uh all the material that he had, talking to the family. Um his diet was fucking crazy. He, was yeah, dude, like he looked raw insane eggs. in that yeah, movie. Dude, I still haven't seen that movie. To this be is honest. right after he was like hella buff. <laughs> yeah, <for a> different <laughs> movie, um, yeah. which I forgot what it was. But he was making like raw. E- he's just raw eggs. Fucking doing the craziest diets, right? Yeah. His devotion to the character was incredible. For that, I think you should be. Um, you should get. Well, that's that where best actor, I. That's right? where my but my argument is for for Austin Butler because he did those things. Like he was living in like um um um. What did he call his estate? Elvis's estate. What did he call his his house? Wonderland? No, know. not Wonderland. Neverland was Michael Never- Jackson. Oh yeah, Neverland was Michael Jackson. He called the Elvis ups- the Upside Down. <laughs> <laughs> no, Elvis. <laughs> Elvis had a na- Elvis had a name for his his estate, but like he stayed there. He like had like multiple. Uh, he watched all those tapes of Elvis. He had to like dance like Elvis. Like, and I don't think there's. Graceland, that's what it was. Graceland. Like, he likes, like, yeah. Either. Um, and then I don't think there was, like, uh, the choreographer for Elvis, because Elvis didn't have a choreographer. No, no, I'm saying Austin Butler had a movement coach. To yeah, yeah move, no, I'm like, not, but oh, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, like, the dances and stuff. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, he also seriously. had a vocal like, coach. He also had a vocal yeah, coach. Yeah, because he just talks so, the same now. Right, yeah. so then in that aspect, right, I, I also haven't seen this movie, so I can't really say anything about it, but I He's great. personally, I... <laughs> He's great. I value somebody that makes the character themselves, right? Yeah. I talk about McConaughey because I fucking love the dude, right? But he literally is the epitome of I need to become the character, mm-hmm. right? And writing things about the character that are not in the script so that he can understand it better. Mm-hmm. That is amazing yeah. acting-wise for me. And I think that it kind of sucks that in the Oscars for the actors that do that and, like, have exceptional ways of, like, becoming mm-hmm. their character, um, furthering their character, acting out their character, they're undermined by somebody that's in a biopic because we all recognize that for like say Michael Fassbender, right? Yeah. We all know who Steve Jobs is. We all have seen the tapes and stuff like that. So for me, I'm like, oh, like, yeah, Michael Fassbender, like as Steve Jobs, I could accept yeah. for sure. I like that one more, and it stands out to me more because I have pre-registered. Pre- yeah, yeah. it's that's like what you're saying p- about people are sitting in the seats. Like w- when people go to see this movie. After the movie, they're just like, holy shit, like, Austin Butler really made me believe he was Elvis. But when you go see this movie, you're just like, wow, these, like, these characters were amazing. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Like, the, yeah, like they brought no argue- these people yeah, yeah, to life. You're kind of, like, shit on if you're not in a biopic. If, if that's, like, the running. Right, right yeah, first, yeah. If he does get in the running for the Oscars this next week, then it's like, I, I'd got to see who's in the other, yeah. the other category. Oh, he's for sure going to be nominated. Who? Are you talking about like, Austin Butler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, he's no, for sure like he gets yeah. it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he, yeah, yeah, if he yeah, gets yeah. it, then we're, we're facing this problem full on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right? yeah, 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 in yeah, the yeah, last three years, we've we've had that over and over. Am I right? We had Rami Malik. I think he was the last one to win, I think. That Maybe. was 2017, too. Oh, no, there, that was, was, there was one after that, then. Did Taron Egerton get one for Rocket Man or no? No. Oh, did he not? No. I heard no. he was... Re- I heard that was like... That one's cool, too, because he sings in that. Like he literally sinks. That's another. So does Rami. Good example. Same some as, of it. Some of it. Same as Austin Butler. No, it's a mix. Some the that movie is some he sings. Some is a mix of Freddie Mercury. Oh, okay. Yeah. A lot of like Ter- uh, Taron did like a lot of rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same as Austin. Bu- Austin Butler, uh, if I'm not mistaken, did like ninety percent of it. Really? Yeah. I need to see Elvis. I, I will see Elvis. It's pretty good. But yeah, I, I'm saying. I think my argument is I don't I don't necessarily think it needs to be a different category because I think it both takes acting. I think the Oscars should really think hard about the person they're choosing. That's a better way of putting it. That's a better way. That's just a good general statement. Yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But you just like to see a different category for biopics. Yeah, because when people are going to see the movies, they're grading them in their head differently. They're Uh, they're grading, they're they're like, they're not even, like, they're basically, they're just like, fuck the movie at this point. They're just like, is Austin Austin Butler going to make me believe he's Elvis? You know what it is? Uh, This is a good example. It's, Best original screenplay, best adapted, adapted screenplay. screenplay. That's what you're talking about. Is that not already a thing? No, that no, no, that's oh, what yeah, he's but saying. Yeah. Like but that's, you, that's, that's, oh, could, oh, oh yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, 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 Honestly, yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Exactly. I get that. Now, that person could be best actor, right? It's going to happen. Yeah. That would but, be kind of messy, though. Best original and also, actor, we best... we need, like, a, a certain amount of biopics. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Which right now we could do. Yeah. Did you know they're making a Michael Jackson 
biopic now? Yeah, I couldn't be more worried about that. Me too. Yeah, that seems because, pretty risky. Because Extremely I risky, I though. love Michael Jackson. Who was playing him? Was that announced? No, but not yet. It was announced, I thought. No, director. Oh, director was. You told me. You told me. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. He did a. Uh, yeah, he did random movies. I forgot what they were. We're he did Training Day. We're going to find yeah, out right now. He did Training Day. Antoine Fuqua. Yeah. Yeah. He did okay, cool. Yeah. I'm just nervous that... I'm just nervous because we all know the uh, story of Michael Jackson. When it comes to biopics, this one's going to be like a little... Yeah. And people this are going to... toughy. People are going to be politically correct and not really like it. And everyone has their opinion about Michael Jackson. I've said my piece about it. I think we talked about it on the show. I don't think we talked about it on here. I don't think we did. No, I think we no we did with T- uh, Tiana because we talked about oh. uh, we talked about like can we separate the art? Oh, oh, from yeah, the yeah, artist, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Michael yeah, Jackson yeah. will be forever one of my top top artists. He's the one that ma- we're going off topic, but yeah, yeah. Damn. Well, pleasure uh, doing business with you. Pleasure, pleasure doing business with you. Nice work out there. But look at none of us. Everyone stood our grounds. We still disagree to agree. Yeah. Well, even though we already, we all already knew that part about yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I want to fight you both. After. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good to uh. see people uh, see like perspective of movies, and some people, like I said, with Avatar, like they don't know what takes into like making a movie or mm-hmm. being an actor, or being a filmmaker. It's like that. It's like that meme I showed you, where like clients they think they think oh, yeah. they yeah. think making a video or creating a, a content is get camera gear. Film, edit. Yeah, yeah, but then, just you okay over there? Uh, we're, having, we're having a technical emergency. Technical emergency, but but well, I get re- what you're saying. But in reality, it's yeah. like oh, pre-production. Just so it's much all work. This just and all that like my and mom, my mom does this all the time. Every time I'm working on a, on a on a short or a film, she's like, "You're not done yet." I'm just like. I don't think you understand <laughs> how really? much work this is. She's like, it's been like th- like two weeks. She's like, you guys are not done with the movie yet. I'm like, we haven't even started you filming yet. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's what I, like it's it's classic to me where I've had some clients where I'm they're just like rushing me to like edit this or just like think like we can just film any kind of like shot where hey, can like we get same day. Can we get a same? Yeah, day can edit? we get it like same day or like or or like it's like cra- like, like they ask for like crazy shots where it's like I'm gonna need a dolly or I'm gonna need like a fucking uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need a crane uh, crane and shit. You know, I'm like you have a two hundred dollar budget. You got this. Yeah, right? like what? Like you that's are funny. crazy. <laughs> so that's well, our debate. Well, yeah. Now we're gonna go into a little fun game. That was oh my gosh. Yeah, we I completely like, forgot. Oh my gosh. That. Wow. Right Dude. past an hour. It's perfect. Well, let's like, go for longest. Fuck it. Yeah, no, wow. season two, I'll baby. I'll keep you guys talking. I got no, shit. Se- se- <laughs> season two, baby. I completely season forgot two, about this part. This okay. Is, this is... So this now is what we're going to do is we're going to take turns listing three actors that are in a movie. The other two people will have to guess... What movie? What then? movie just based off of the three actors. Just the three actors. All right. Who wants to go first? Let's have Mr. Mr. Brandon. Mr. He's in Brando. The, and we're going to go We're gonna go two rounds. So. Two rounds. So we each have two movies. Yes. Yeah. Great. Am I doing both? No, no, we'll do one at a we'll do one, one at a time. Yeah. Okay. My first one. Okay, name the actors. Okay. <laughs> first one. John David Washington. Ten, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Fuck, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> John David Washington. John David Washington. Dude, I don't know much about him. I just found out he's Denzel Washington. I can't kid. believe you didn't know that. Sorry, I love Did you know he's Denzel Look, Washington's He was kid? there. You guys were both there when I told no, you. No, it was us. It was us at Chipotle. Yeah. He wasn't oh. there. Oh, let him go, let him go, let him go. I Actually, thought yeah. Denzel, me, Denzel, shut up, Denzel. I'm going to change one of these. <laughs> me and Mila uh, thought he was British. <laughs> Adam Driver. Oh, I know the movie. Fuck, dude, I don't. Black Klansman. Yep, great. Good stuff. I was about to say, I was going to say. You're supposed to let him finish the third one. Nah, if you already got it. Yeah. Who was say, uh, the third one? I was going to say to- Topher Grace. Oh, okay, okay. But okay. I thought if I gave Topher Grace, that would be the giveaway. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, I Adam do have Driver. Another... You haven't seen that movie, though, huh? Uh-uh. But I mean, I oh, like, it's a, like, that's out of. All the movies, I would only name Black Klansman and Tenet and Amsterdam. For John yeah, David facts. Washington? Yeah. Oh, that's because he hasn't. Yeah, that's yeah, the only yeah, thing yeah, I know yeah, of yeah, him. I don't think you guys are going to get my other one. But okay. okay. I, don't think, I don't think you guys are going to get my second one either. Okay. Okay. I'm at the... L- oh, I can't. Fuck okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Tom Hanks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Tom Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... Okay, where'd Dude, it go? You said Tom Hanks fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I need the other two right now. Okay, ready? Yes. 
George Clooney. Meryl Streep. Holy shit, we have the same movie. We wrote down the same three actors. What's your third actor? Willem Dafoe. Is it Fantastic Mr. Fox? Yeah! That's the one that I wrote down. That's what? insane. What? I wrote what? down I wrote down George Clooney, Meryl Streep, and Bill Murray. I was gonna say Bill Murray too, but then I was like, That's, that's crazy. crazy. What? what the fuck? Kiss. What? Dude, yeah. <laughs> Yo. Okay, now I gotta do a different one. No, I'll do a different one. Because no, that was no, yours. No, but you knew it. So I gotta do a different <laughs> one. <laughs> this is you bullshit. Wow, man. that's nuts. That is pretty crazy. This I was like, there's no way they're gonna get that one. Dude. That's yeah, I look, he was struggling. You was said like, George Clooney, I was like, <laughs> that's horseshit. Oh, like Tomorrowland? Okay, <laughs> I'll look for my I'll look for my, my first one. Okay, 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 I'll do my second one, what okay. I had. That's Fuck insane. you, man. It's nuts. Fuck you for crazy being crazy good choices. From that's like guys so obscure for us both to choose. I gotta do a new one too. Then. Okay, okay. Tom Hiddleston, John Goodman, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, Tom Hiddleston. Oh, John. Oh, oh. is it Godzilla? Is it no? Uh, close. Is it Kong Skull Island? Yes! Oh, nice. dang it. You yes. saying it. Close. Yeah, I was one of those. Yeah. And it was that universe. For some reason, I rewatched that, and I was like, this is not a bad Kong movie. Dude. I yeah. was like, um, that is pretty solid. Okay, Dude, yeah, and visually? Visually, it was pretty fire. fucking crazy. The style is sick. Nice. Kong Skull Island. I knew he was in that universe, Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I got to find my other one. Jake Gyllenhaal. Mike Roll. Mar- <laughs> Mark Ruffalo. Oh. Robert Downey Jr. Prisoners. Wow, no. Robert Downey Jr.? Zodiac. Or not, uh, Zodiac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Zodiac. Zodiac. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, fuck, dude. Why did you say Prisoners? Oh, boys. <laughs> fuck, because that Prisoner was going to be one of my yeah. choices. It is Zodiac. Zodiac. Okay. Good shit. Good shit. Is Mark Ruffalo in Prisoners? No. I don't, know why, I don't know why. Oh, I said, okay, okay. I was, I was looking, I was, I was... Seeing the poster, yeah, yeah, but I was yeah, yeah, saying yeah. prisoners. Okay, my new Dino nation. My next one. Okay, no, his ne- his second one. Oh, I don't think you guys are gonna get this one. Fuck I'd be, I like, I'd be so surprised. I'd be. Hey, so man, we surprised. both chose Fantastic Mr. Fox. That's yeah, that's pretty fucking crazy. All right, wait, hold up. That's like actually blowing my mind. That that just happened. That is insane. That is insane. Are you ready? Nope. Yeah, I'm ready. Have you seen that? I'm ready. He's buffering. Oh, I don't think you guys are gonna get this one either. Okay, I found my second one. Okay. Channing Tatum. Adam Driver again. Daniel Craig. We just Logan Lucky. What? We just talked about this movie before we started shooting. That's also crazy. Wait, wait I was not in that combo. Yeah, he, you were. We, we were, were filming. We were sitting on the couch right before the camera started rolling, and Mila just goes, Logan Lucky. And then I said, what's Logan Lucky? And then I said the movie with Daniel nah, Craig. No way and I was listening to this Dude, that's zero. what, what is, is happening. Zero. What is going on? That's not, he goes, what's, what movie is that? And I was like, with Daniel Craig and <laughs> Adam Driver. I got it for my favorite yeah. list on Letterboxd. <laughs> I was not in that combo. That's were we nuts. Not, were we not filming? Were we not There's filming? No way you were filming? We were here. We were oh, sitting we like were this. We were sitting right here. I feel like we were filming, no? I was definitely looking oh, for my shit then. I wish that we got that on camera. That is so funny. Oh my god. Wow. Fuck. Okay, find that another one. That would have been such a good yeah. shot. <laughs> no, forget it. Forget it. Find, another one. find oh, another one. Find another one. Find another one. Okay, I got, I, you, I got one. I got one. Okay. Um, I didn't necessarily like this movie um, because I'll tell you it's a ripoff of, but um, I'll give you the three actors. Ready? Okay. They're pretty good. Jeff Bridges. Okay. The rest in peace department. John Hamm. Dakota Johnson. <gasps> it's the it's the murder one. It, uh oh oh man, dude. <laughs> Jeff Bridges, Dakota Johnson, and oh, John I know, Hamm. I've seen this movie. I've seen this movie. And John Hamm. Oh no, what's it called? It's the hotel, right? The oh, pretty Oh, what's the <laughs> Oh, I mean, you have the consent. They're all at a hotel. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't, I don't remember the name. Bad of it. times at the El Royale. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth is in it. It's basically a ripoff of Hateful Eight. That's why I didn't like yeah. it. Oh, they did. They literally did it. They're like, all like in this in one building in one together. like motel, yeah. and then they literally do it in chapters. 
Yeah. Like chapter one. It's like a, like it's like a basic, PG thirteen. Basically, like Tarantino does like chapters, and he did it for Hateful Eight, and it's basically oh, that makes it a, a rip. Off. It's just a style. You're no, it's no, no but the story too is like all kept in this motel like lobby and shit, and like there's a murder, and then murders and, and like and then like people don't know who's who and all that. It's just like the same like who's done it, and like no one, no one, none of the it's characters the know. Style. Each it's the same style. It's the same style. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have gotten that. I forgot. Dakota Johnson, I forgot, is in that. Yeah. Is she the main girl? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Chris Hemsworth is in it. Yeah, I was going to say Chris Hemsworth, but yeah, yeah. I thought, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was yeah, yeah. too, like, boring. I just, I would not have gotten the name. Yeah. But I've seen it. Okay. I've seen it, yeah. That's, uh, I wasn't okay. thinking of that. Tom Hardy. Oh. Uh, Tom Hardy, Olivia Coleman. M- M- Morbius. What? I'm just kidding. Morbius. M- Morbius? Mm-hmm. Wait, did you say who'd you say? Tom Hardy. Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not like, Morbius. I was like, was Venom, Venom. and Morbius? I don't know. Venom. Fuck, um, dude. Tom Hardy, Olivia Coleman, and Tom Holland. You're not. You guys aren't gonna get this one. Say the second. I don't know if I. Is actually, it Cherry? No, I actually no. don't know if either of you guys have seen this movie. To be honest, Is Tom Holland. Yeah, Tom Holland. Oh, who, is it who, old Tom? Is it like young Tom Holland? Is that why? It. The, I'll give you the year of the movie too. How about that? Because I don't. I really don't think either of you guys have seen this movie. Yes. Uh, 2013. This is like a baby Tom Holland, isn't it? Uh, y- he's a kid. Wait, is there a say the second in this movie? name. No. Tom Hardy and who? Olivia Coleman. There's not some. And Tom Holland. It's also kind of a trick question. Not a trick question, but it's yeah, like Tom that. Holland's in it for like two minutes, huh? Tom Holland is only in it as a voice. I knew it. It's twenty thirteen. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh fuck! No, it's not him. Damn, I don't know then. Stumped. I I probably have not seen this movie. I don't think you got. I should have chosen a different one. I don't think you guys. Have a seen director. It. Um, I think Stephen Knight. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Um. The director is... I can't even see you. I was trying to look. <laughs> I didn't. My eyes are horrible. Director. Oh, it is Stephen Knight. I was right. Stephen Knight, creator of Peaky Blinders. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's why I know the name. And Serendipity with Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway. I don't think it's this guy, Serendipity. This guy... Is that not what that's Serenity? called? Serenity? Serenity. Serenity. I don't know this movie, sir. Uh, it's called Locke. It's an A24 movie. Oh. The whole, the reason it's a trick is because from beginning to finish. Uh, is it a spoiler? No, 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 no. I this is a spoiler. Uh, uh, the whole, mm. from beginning to finish, Tom Hardy is the only actor on screen. He's in his driver's, he's in, he's driving for the entirety of the movie. And all these other actors are just voices. Tom Holland's a voice. Oh, Olivia sick. Coleman's a voice. What the fuck um, is cool? Yeah. What's your other one? I have one? a funny one that could throw you off. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're probably going to get it, though. I'm going to go one more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Jonah kidding. Hill. Michael Sarah. This is the end. That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. I was hoping you would say super fun. <sighs> That's all I had to say. Um, I had another one in mind. Uh, you know how many actors you could have said for this is the end? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> James <laughs> Franco. <laughs> Dude, because you had Mindy Kaling, you had Rihanna. Oh my gosh, Mindy. Oh my gosh. Okay, ready? Oh yeah, Michael Sarah slaps. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's all yeah. Out. Okay, oh. one more, one more, one more. The super battery. I'll do one so. more. This is kind of fun. I like this game. Uh, Bill Murray. Ghostbusters. Bruce Willis. Francis McDormand. Garfield? I don't know. Garfield. <laughs> Garfield. I don't know. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Francis McDormand, Bill Murray. Bruce Willis. We have no idea. Is it old? It is 2012. None of those three actors seem like they would be in a movie together. That's why I wanted to do that one. Have we seen that? Have we ever talked about it? I have never seen this. Wait, who was the second one? Uh, Bill Murray, Bruce Willis, Bruce Francis Willis. McDormand. No, it's not I have never seen this movie, but I would love to watch it in your at your house because... I feel like it would be an experience. Okay, so sound is important. <laughs> I mean, not really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's just a good room to be in the dark. That's not a hint by the mo- Like, doesn't need to be dark, but. I don't know this one. I don't know either. Moonrise Kingdom. What? I love that movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. 
Everyone Bruce Willis is in Moonrise Kingdom? Yeah, Ed, I was going to say Edward yeah. Newton is in it. Uh, Bill Murray, Francis Bruce Willis, Tilda Swinton is in it. I do not remember. Um, I still Harvey don't remember Cattell Bruce Willis. Harvey Cattell is in it. Uh, Where is Bruce Willis? Yeah, I don't. He, I don't know. I've never seen it. It says Captain Sharp. It's really good. It's a really good. Uh, yeah, but it's on my watch list. Good choice. Thanks, man. Good picture. I auditioned for Wes Anderson, and one of the audition, the audition uh, script was... Uh, a scene from Moonrise Kingdom. That Dude, I Wes Anderson it. offered me a role and I turned him down. Wow. Dude. That's pretty crazy. Get shit on I just face. didn't feel like it was my thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little below you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the character wasn't like really... Don't, want those now, don't listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> Wes Anderson, fuck. <laughs> Wes Anderson, please book us. Wes Anderson. We have your book here. We have your book here. All right, we're gonna... That was a good... Uh, that was a solid episode. Yeah, well, we Let have... Let's, fin- yeah, let's yeah. finish it off. You know, it is the new year, 2023. You know, there's... Some New Year's resolutions. I don't necessarily do resolutions. I just kind of do like goals yeah. of the year. Um, it's basically resolutions. But what's your uh, what's your life goal? What's your person? We're gonna do career what? goal and a personal goal. Personal goal. What's um, here? my life goal is to definitely work out more. But yeah, um, I would say like, okay, and we kind of all talked about this, but like journaling. I've been trying mm. to do a lot more. Um, as well as keeping things on paper. Um, I'm a very digital person, so I'm trying to... I have, like, a planner I was telling you about. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the significance of looking at a planner and seeing every single day, and, like, if there's blanks and stuff like that, it does a lot, like, mentally. So I'm trying to make sure that I get that shit done. Back to the caveman ages, eh? Hell yeah. <laughs> kind of sick, though. It's kind of fancy. On the, on the paper, eh? On the page. And a career goal, Mr. Brando? A career goal is to do some narrative work. That is my main. It's a very interesting goal. That is honestly my priority right now. I would like narrative stuff. Nice. Like right. commercial, I like music videos. Like but you've done that now. I mean, we've done narrative too, done. but we want to do it on a bigger scale. We want to do some big shit. Yeah. I see you. All righty. Nice. Mr. Delano. Personal goal is um, journaling is then there, but you took that. I've been journaling. It is actually really healthy. Feels good mentally. Hell yeah. Like it feels good just to get your thoughts down. Get it off your shoulders. Yeah, get it off your shoulders. And if I am feeling lazy and that's the only thing I do, I still feel productive. So there's that. Um, but with that, with you already saying that, uh, mine is um, working, doing my best to do working out three, three days a week. Because... Oh, yeah. I could say every day, but I know my ass ain't going to do that, and I don't have the time for it. And If you I came to the gym with me, I would make you go every day. Just saying. I just don't have the time just for saying. that. And just saying. And, just saying. and I've just never really done the gym every day, so I'm not trying to kill my body because it is actually bad for you to do it, like, off rip because you're going to strain some muscles. Well, you don't got to go bench two plates off the rip. I know, but I'm just <laughs> saying every day you're gonna, your body's going to fuck up one way or another. So three days, get my get myself into it slowly but surely. Get my toes in the water. Career wise, um, is to get garage sessions. I don't like talk like I've never been this person, but since we're in this world now and stuff, it is kind of cool to like see the length we can go. But my goal for this year is twenty k subs. Twenty k subs. You heard the man. Make it happen. Twenty. It's up to you guys. To make it happen. 20K subs on this channel. Let's see if we can get it done. But that's that's the goal. Good goals. Let's do it by next week. Good go- ne- do what? <laughs> next week. 20K. 20K next week. 20K next week. Up to you guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> make it happen for us. <laughs> uh, garage sessions like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Luciano. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Um, My personal goal was just in my head. And it just flew out. It's on the floor. Um, oh, shit. There's Oh fuck! What was it? It just would be amazing if you just remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, oh, to be more disciplined, to do that's nice to do to do things that I don't want to do because I have to do them. That's what I would like to be better. And at. do them first. Good and do them first. Yeah. My mom always says, "Do the hard shit first. Yeah. Um. Whether that's going to the gym when I, yeah, do a- anything. Yeah. Um. And then my career goal. Is I would like, all right. Well, our own set is kicking us out. So it was a great time. My my uh my career goal is I would like to lead a feature film this year. 
Nice. A feature. A feature. Specific yeah. feature. Doesn't have to be like a, a studio, j- indie, just a feature film. I'd like yeah. to lead a feature film. Nice. I feel like these are all plausible. I agree. I, I agree. think these are all doable. Facts. And we are going to make them happen. And like we always say, just do the damn thing. And that's what we're really standing by. And we're trying to fix this lighting. But, hey, it's, it's the, the, it's, the, the barn doors. <laughs> it's the it's the end of the episode. We talked a lot. We hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you, hopefully you learned something. If you're not a movie goer, it might sound boring. But at the same time, you're going to learn something. And if you do like film, then hopefully you take one of our sides. Let us know whose side you took. That's true. Whose side you took on the debates? On, on, on all the debates. On all, on the, all debates. the debates. The all IMAX the debates. debate, the stupid fucking Top Gun debate. <laughs> the, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. And then also, I'm just kidding. also rate <laughs> yes. say, in, the comments, in the comments below, say your, your not your top 10, because that's a lot of things to read, but say your top two movies of 2022. Or your favorite performance, or... Yeah. Yeah. Those are rankings. Yeah. 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 Let's... Let us let us let us know in the comments below. Let uh, us know in the comments below. We're getting kicked below. out of our fucking set by our own equipment and uh Welcome to season two. Season Welcome two, season baby! Two. Back and better than ever. Uh, Later. Don't forget to see movies in IMAX only. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good episode.